Hey guys, thanks so much for joining. So today's video, I wanted to do a recap about some of the best vintage Louis Vuittons that are out there on the market today that you should absolutely snatch up. Okay, so I've separated the video into two pieces. The first portion is the vintage Vuittons that you can find a very similar style in the store today. So save your thousands of dollars and buy a vintage piece. And the, the last four bags of the video are bags from the Marc Jacobs era that I think you should jump on. So let's just roll through it. The first bag is the Monogram Ellipse PM. This particular PM is in, is in very good condition. So this is one of the modern bags that you can get now on Fashion File for less than a thousand dollars. So this particular one is priced at $8.90. That could change by the time I upload the video, but look around for this bag because her current updated sister is available now at Louis Vuitton for much more expensive. They changed the shape a little bit, but really not much. They just brought back the ellipse. So go buy the vintage one. So I wanted to point out that certain parts, the leather, the bachetta, but not the canvas, the leather and the metal pieces are all replaceable. Now it's not guaranteed because if the canvas is cracked, Louis Vuitton cannot take the repair. But I would definitely ask, sometimes people want to replace the piping, the shapes or the handle. So those are things you can inquire about. The next bag is called the Monogram Bel Air. This one is from 1996. So they currently have a very similar sister of this. It's called the Ivy. Why not save a bit? and go for her older sister. By the way, if you haven't heard me mention it before, I really love the quality of the vintage bags. Before they were in such demand, great care was taken to make these bags and they were meant to last a lifetime. So I would not even worry about buying a bag that's so old. I know some of you say like, I would never buy vintage and this or that. Okay, then don't. Um, but you know, some people really love to. The Epi Pochette Accessoire 24 in Sipango. The Pochette Accessoire, of course, everyone loves this in monogram. I think this is just such a cute, timeless piece like a cute going out type of bag, or even if you want to put a few things in here and do the bag in the bag thing like I do, like put this in your never full. She is only $450. That is a steal for an all leather bag. So this is the Epi Leather. It is extremely durable and it is made to be durable because it was made to carry tea across the forest. That was how Epi Leather was born. Next is the Monogram City GM. Okay, you guys, <laughs> this exact bag is in production again, except they've added two strips of leather down the side. So for a whopping deal of $875, you can be the proud owner of this vintage Vuitton bag in very good condition. Now, even though it's an older bag, don't worry. If you want to replace any of those leather pieces, they can be replaced. Purpose of the Vachetta, it is supposed to age with you as you travel with it. This one is a very beautiful honey patina color. Um, so people always ask like, what should I spray it with when I get it out of the boutique? Um, nothing, because anything that's wet that touches it is going to make it patina faster. Hand oils, anything like that. Perfume. So this one, you can't do it because it's a shoulder bag, but the handbags I like to wrap the handles with, and that will ensure an even patina on your brand new bags. So these are the Marc Jacobs era bags, the 2000s bags that this style, these silhouettes are going to make a comeback. The first one is the monogram riveting. Look at the rivets on the bag. That's why, hence the name. This bag is from 2007. Watch out, you guys. This shape is coming back all over the place. It's got that big plaque detailing, very reminiscent of the Marc Jacobs era. This bag is cute. Okay, so it's $12.95. The resale prices of these bags that are coming back have been getting a little higher because um, I remember seeing some of these pieces for less than a thousand, but she looks like she's in great condition. And like I said, it's this type of style, it's coming back. And I really see this as a useful bag, really the everyday kind of bag. Love the detailing of the zipper down the sides. Um, someone buy this because I am going to be tempted to. It's so cute. Now let's look at the next one, the Monogram Mirage Griette Black. This bag is gorgeous. She is a little high at 
They say the estimate retail is 3740. I don't know where they got that number. I guess that's what it would be if it would sell it would sell in the store today, but this bag is from 2007. She was probably like $1000 in 2007 or maybe 900. She looks to be in pretty good condition. There are some scratches from normal wear on the um the black portion with the buckle so it's got the push lock very reminiscent of mark jacobs um uh, gosh i just love the detailing like the extra underlay of the dark brown here very beautiful bag Ooh, that's cute so it looks like it has like an inner insert like a french coin purse inner insert type of thing too oh i wish i had seventeen hundred dollars just to jump on this bag. It's super cute. Look, it's made in France for you made in France peoples. And she's got feet. All the features that people really wanted. When I was a client advisor at Vuitton, these were features people asked for feet. Does the bag have feet? You'll be surprised how many bags in the current collection do not have feet. And then the made in France, I think this is really a beautiful bag, even at 17, um, that's, that's a good deal not crazy about like the look of this bag but i bring it up because this is the mini lynn diaper bag from 2007. if you're paying attention vuitton is launching a baby line so save yourself some dough this diaper bag is only 535 dollars it's baby blue it even has a changing pad how cute is that? So this is in like an actual diaper bag. Oh look, made in France. So, you know, if you're expecting and um, you wanna save a bit on that baby collection, so this print is the Mini Lynn print. Okay, last on the list is the Monogram Mini Lynn. Again, I'm in love with the Mini Lynn, it's so cute. This is the Mini Lynn Some More Aben. Um, Look at this bag. Okay, this is honestly boot two. This silhouette is coming back in every handbag line that I see. It's a big crossbody, only 750. It's not screaming that brown and mustard Vuitton. And I like that the leather pieces are black as opposed to the regular Samora that is Vachetta. Um, so I think this looks just a little more chic and sophisticated. It's just a little more fun. Of course, you can always go with the regular monogram some more if you want more of that like traditional Louis look, as people say. But I do think this is a very trendy bag for now, and she's only $750. This right here is a good mom bag uh, because in the Marc Jacobs era, I actually had a big Marc Jacobs crossbody like this. I, remember, I forgot the name of it, but it was a big nylon bag like this and um i could actually fit a few diapers in it <laughs> just fyi if you're looking for like a good everyday bag that holds everything this is a good one for that so those are my eight picks for today i hope you found something that you love please do use my links down in the description if you like any of these bags or anything at fashion file because i do get a commission for suggesting these bags and you guys have been asking me what are the good vintage louis to buy so i'll continue to do this series i've been asked about chanel and let me know what other brands you'd like me to investigate thanks so much for joining don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button my name is michelle talk to you soon bye